Yes, it broke down again. I could have purchased a small Central American country for what I paid for that sports car, and have. No, just tow it. It's by the park. No, don't send a limo. I'll walk. Oh, no. Uh, I've changed my mind. Go Send the limo. Hello? Hello? Just face it, Sam. I am the handball king of harmony! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had a couple of lucky moves today. Shh, faked you out that last one, didn't I? I went left, I went back, right. Oh, oh, damn! PC, are you all right? Julian Crane, I swear, if I ever get a chance, I'll kill that bastard. Oh, Eve, am I happy to see you. Are you busy right now? No, I just got home from the hospital, and I thought I'd stop by. Do you think you could give me a hand with some of these? I mean, I thought I could do it myself, or I would have asked the girls to help me. And Grace spent it taking on more than she can handle? No! <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, what do you want me to do? Um, well, why don't you make up a couple of these? Okay. Well, what are they for? Rebecca Hotchkiss's party for Gwen and Ethan. Ivy asked me to make a few things up. Oh. Look, I know how you and TC and Sam feel about Ivy. But you know what? She's given me a lot of business this year, and the extra money's really come in handy. How to interpret your dreams? That's an odd party <laughs> favor. <laughs> you know, Eve, do you think that dreams have a meaning? Well, I think sometimes they reflect the subconscious and things that you just don't want to face when you're awake. Well, I hope you're wrong. Why? Oh, Recently, I had a dream about a woman that was pursuing Sam. She was wearing this hooded cape. The strange thing was, though, that she had a small child with her, a young boy. At the time, I took it to mean that someone was trying to come between Sam and me and take him away from me, but that's ridiculous. I mean, Sam loves me so much, nobody could ever take him away from me. Crane, I brought your dress for this evening's party. Thank you, Pilar. You look so sad. Is it the wedding? How did you know? I... I just wish that there was some way that Sam could come to his own son's wedding. That's why you're upset. <laughs> of course. What else would it be? You know, I always had a dream that... By now, Sam would know that Ethan was his son and that somehow we'd be a family. And Ethan would have lost all the wealth and privileges he has as a crane. Is that really what you want? No, of course not, Pilar. You know how hard I've worked to ensure that Ethan is head of the crane empire. Then why? I said it was a dream. You must stop these dreams. If Julian ever found out that Sam is really Ethan's father, you and Ethan would lose everything. I know. I just wish that there were some way that Sam could come to the wedding. I would love to look over and see him when our son marries. It's impossible. <sighs> He's the main reason that Sharon doesn't believe me. Luis. You know, the bastard probably tried to convince her that I'm only after her money. That's the main reason that she doesn't believe that I'm not using her. He got to her. I don't think Ethan has that much influence on her. He's her nephew. They're close. I don't know. Maybe after Ethan's married and he takes on the responsibilities of the Crane Empire, he, he won't have enough time to influence her about me anymore. Maybe. She's in there with Sheridan right now. Who? Oh, Ethan's rich fiance, Gwen Hotchkiss. 
Ethan probably sent her down to remind her not to trust me. Ethan's gonna cancel the wedding? Sharon, is that what you're trying to tell me? Gwen. Oh my God. My mother was right. God, I, 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 I should have spent more time with Ethan. I never should have gone on that long business trip. Now I've lost him forever. What's my mother gonna do when she finds out? So much, Teresa. Oh no, this is worse than I thought. He actually thinks he's in love with the little tramp. I love you too, Ethan. I have to go. I still have to tell Gwen that the wedding is off. The wedding? Canceling the wedding. What? Oh, Ethan, he must have told you about the orchestra canceling. Oh my God, Sheridan, you almost gave me a heart attack. I'm sorry. No, it's not you. It's me. It's just my my nerves are shot. Pre-wedding jitters. No, I. Ethan would never cancel. Now, not, not so close to the wedding. I, I, would, I would die. Sheridan, I, I, I would just die. I have dreamed of marrying Ethan for so long. And becoming his wife. And sharing our lives together. Sheridan, I love him so much. I, I don't know what I would do without him. Why are you upset? I, I just... You are supposed to cry at my wedding, not before it, silly. Well, which reminds me, his shoes. Sheridan, my shoes for the wedding were lost in transit, if you can believe it. And, and I remember that you had a pair that was, that was quite similar. It was light, colored, that small little heel. We yes, bought it together I, in Paris. I, I, rem I remember the pair. Would you mind awfully if I borrowed them? I mean, I would have oh, to no, dye no, them. Oh, no, you can have them. Oh, Sharon, you are a doll. You're so wonderful. You know, I really wish you could have been my maid of honor. So do I. But the FBI thought it would draw too much attention to me with the drug cartel after me at the time. I know, I know, but we did make a pact to be each other's maid of honor. It's all right, Gwen. I mean, at least... Teresa agreed to be my maid of honor. She's turned out to be a really good friend. I can't believe my mother even thought that she would try to steal Ethan from me. Oh, look at those shoes. Sharon, thank you again. I, I, I'm just, I'm so excited about the wedding. I, I just know that it's gonna be the most wonderful, exciting, most perfect day of my entire life. 
Just wish there was some way I could convince Sheridan I never said I was using her. I understand, okay? But it's obvious that she's not listening. <laughs> yeah, because Julian and Ethan are filling her head full of lies. And Gwen's probably in there right now doing the exact same thing. You know what? You need a break, buddy. You need to back off from the cranes for a while. Uh, maybe you're right. Just glad Teresa finally got over her crush on Ethan. <laughs> Yeah, well, I can't even imagine how nuts you'd go if those two got together. Yeah, well, don't worry. It's never gonna happen. She's got a real boyfriend now. No kidding. That's great. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's everything that Ethan and Julian come in contact with, they destroy. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You want to try to sit? Come on, I just need to rest my knee. Oh! Uh. You cursed Julian when you fell just now. Threatened to kill him, and this hasn't been the first time, TC. It's just a figure of speech, Sam. Maybe. But I know that look in your eye when you say it. It worries me, TC. Not only as an officer, but as your friend. Now, you once told me that Julian was responsible for your knee injury, but you didn't get into details. I don't want to talk about it, okay? TC, you cannot let this anger eat away at you. Now, look, you can tell me. All right? I promise you it'll be just between you and me. All right, Sam. You want to know why I cursed Julian and blame him for my bum knee? And you also want to know why I want to rip his freaking throat out? Who's there? I said, who's there? See, it was probably just a squirrel. Now listen, now calm down. Now all this talk about you killing Julian, ripping his throat out. All right, Sam. You listen to my story, and you tell me how you feel. All right. I'm listening. It all happened the summer you went away on that fishing boat. I remember. When I came back to school for the fall, glasses, you had a limp. Broke my daddy's heart, man. He worked hard, caddying for all those rich bigots at that country club. Yes, sir, for a nickel. No, sir, for a dime. He did it all for me, Sam, so I could have a better life. You do have a better life, TC. I mean, you're a respected coach. You have a beautiful wife, two beautiful children. Man, I wouldn't trade that for anything in the world. Back then, all I wanted was tennis. That was gonna be my life. <sighs> oh, man. My dad, he used to, um, he used to sneak me into the country club so I could play on the courts. Nobody else was there. Yeah, I remember you. He used to work hard, man. Real hard. You played in local tournaments. Did real well. Well enough that he was going to enter me into the tournament at the country club. That was going to be my big chance. Chance to show the world. Chance to show all those bigots. And I knew if I won that tournament, he would enter me into the next tournament. The Pro-Am at Boston. That would be my pro tour, man. My only competition back then was Julian Crane, man. I knew I would beat him. Because I've already beaten him once. Yeah, I remember you telling me that. Alistair Crane, he was furious, man. Can you imagine a poor black boy beating up on the almighty Crane? How could you let this happen, Julian? Allowing some black boy to beat you, a caddy's son. He's very good, father. He's an inferior. How the hell am I supposed to hold my head up at the country club? I'm embarrassed to call you my son, and you should be embarrassed too. I'll try harder, Father. You'll do better than that, Julian. You'll win. I don't care what you have to do, but I don't want you ever to lose to that black boy again. Do you understand? Cranes don't lose! Yes, Father. I did what you told me, Father. Oh, <laughs> did I ever? 
Julian knew he couldn't beat me. So he had to do something that would tilt the odds in his favor. What did he do? What did Julian do, TC? Please, don't do this, Mrs. Crane. I have to. I want Sam at that wedding. I don't know it yet, but there isn't going to be a wedding, only an explosion. And there will be even more trouble if anyone finds out that Ethan is Sam's son, not Julian's. The party favors are almost finished. Eve's been helping me out. Really? I'd like you to be so helpful, Eve. Actually, I'm glad you're here. I'm a little bit upset with both of you. Ups upset? Why? Well, it's come to my attention that neither you nor your husbands have RSVP to the party or the wedding. Aren't you coming? Oh, <laughs> we've never even got an invitation. Did you, Eve? No. Hmm. I don't understand. Oh, I don't understand either. I mean, this is supposed to be the wedding of the year. Why would you want to invite ordinary people like us? Oh, Eve, you and TC, Grace and Sam, you're not ordinary people, you're my friends. Oh, please, Ivy, what's the real reason that you want us to come to the wedding? Eve, it's all right, Grace. She caught me. There is another reason I want you all at the wedding, especially Sam. Well, I guess it's time for the truth to come out. I should just let everything out in the open. I want Sam at the wedding because of Ethan. And now I'll tell you exactly why. What do you want? Just want you to know I'm leaving. Leaving? Yeah. I got some things to do. Crane Security will take over. Fine. See you later. No hurry. Wow. Um, what is going on with you and Louise? I mean, you could practically see the ice crystals forming in the air. I thought you guys were getting along. We were. But we aren't anymore. Well, if you don't mind me asking, what happened? He's just not the man that I thought he was. I'm sorry. Don't worry. You will find the perfect man. I don't think there is one. Of course there is. Sheridan, I mean, I found one. Ethan and I have a wonderful relationship based on love and trust. Oh, you know, I really... I need to go. I have so much to do before the party tonight. I, I hope it goes well. There have been so many last-minute disasters. I mean, the shoes, the, the orchestra. I just hope there are no more unpleasant surprises before my wedding day. <laughs> and Sheridan, thanks again. Sure. For the shoes, and I'll see you tonight. Okay. Bye. Bye. You're gonna be so hurt. I'm so angry at you, Ethan Crane. Why haven't you told her yet? I am gonna try to tell Luis about us again. Well, Teresa, I think I should be there with you. Ethan, that is really sweet, but that would only make Luis even crazier. Better to, to let him get used to the idea first. Besides, it's going to be hard enough for you to tell Gwen and the families. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Gwen's really going to be upset. And her mother. I don't even want to think how she'll react when she hears about us. Why, you little bitch. Oh. Hmm. 
Did you hear something? Ethan Crane. Get over to the cottage right now. Sheridan, is, is something wrong? Oh, you bet there is. It's about Gwen. Gwen? What? Just get over here. I want to talk to you. Okay, I'm on my way. Sheridan said something about Gwen, and she sounded really angry. Is this really worth all the trouble I'm causing, Ethan? Yes, you're worth it. <laughs> no one and nothing can change that. Tell me, Ivy, why are you so anxious for Sam to be at Ethan's wedding? Because? No, Ivy, just turn and leave. Ivy? Now that Ethan is on the police board, I want to make sure that he and Sam get along. As Sam did mention that they had a few misunderstandings. And what better place to mend them than at a wedding? Well, still, I don't think that Sam... Then, good, it's settled. You'll come to the party and the wedding. You know, it's just so last minute. If we'd known earlier, then... You know, I specifically told Teresa to send you and the Russells invitations. I... Well, I just, I can't have this. I guess I'm going to have to fire her. Liar. You just want Grace to feel guilty so Sam will come. You can't fire Teresa. I'm sure it was an honest mistake. The invitations must have been lost in the mail. That's no excuse. Miguel told me how much Teresa loves her job. If I said that Sam and I would come to the party, do you feel better about Teresa? Much. All right, then. Splendid. <laughs> well, I hope we get to see you and TC there, too. Excuse me. I don't know what you're up to, Ivy, but if you do anything to hurt Grace, I swear to God, I will make you pay. I was driving home from practice the night of the big tournament at the country club. And all of a sudden, this car just came out of nowhere. Then the car just sped off. The car just left you there? Yeah. But luckily, another car came along. They called the ambulance and took me to the hospital. But the accident, man, the accident tore my knee all to hell. And Julian was driving the car that hit you? Who else? Then why wasn't charges filed? Because I couldn't prove anything, Sam. There was a police investigation, but as you know, the cranes, <laughs> They covered their tracks. Well, how do you know Julian was driving the car? Sam, who else could it have been? I'd already beaten him once, and he knew I would probably beat him again at the tournament. In front of his bigoted friends. In front of his bigoted father. But Julian was too much of a coward to face his father if he lost. So you know what he did? He ruined my life, Sam. He ruined my career, man. The one that I always dreamt of. Wanted to know why I hate Julian Crane, so I told you. He better stay away from this. Because if he doesn't, cowboy, you'll be arresting me for murder. Don't you threaten me. Grace is my friend. If you hurt her. Oh, your friend that you were so quick to betray? You were the one who blackmailed me into trying to help you seduce Sam? And I can still tell your family what a slut you used to be. And I can still tell Julian that Ethan is Sam's son and not his. You can't blackmail me anymore, Ivy. So why don't you tell me what this is really about? Why do you want Sam at that wedding? <clears throat> wow, sorry about that. No. <laughs> so, I can expect to see you and Sam at the party tonight? Yes, we will be there. Splendid. If Eve and TC will go also. Grace, I... Oh, please, Eve, for me. Okay. <sighs> but only for you. <sighs> Thank you. Good. So, I'll see you all there tonight. Grace. 
Hey, Steve, I know what you're going to say, that you don't think it's a good idea. How do you know how Sam and TC feel about the cranes in general? And I am not crazy about them either. I know. But, you know, Ivy is right. It's very important that Sam and Ethan get along. What with both of them being on the police board? Grace, has it ever occurred to you that Ivy might have an ulterior motive for inviting us? Though, what other reason could there be? What other reason could there be for what? Well, I know you two aren't going to be all excited about this, but we've been invited to a party tonight. Great, I like parties. Me too. So where is it? The Hotchkiss Mansion. It's a party for Ethan and Gwen, and the wedding tomorrow, Ivy invited us. No way. Hell no. Mrs. Hodgkins. Are you all right? Oh. Where, where's Ethan? E Ethan Crane and that little tramp, Teresa. They both left a few minutes ago. Together? Yes. Help me. Oh, I gotta go find them. I cannot let anything stop this wedding. Oh, is gonna freak out when I tell him. I know. I'll call Whitney. Tell her to come over here. Maybe Louise won't get so angry if she's here. Oh, Louise. I just wish you could be happy that Ethan and I are in love. What the hell is wrong with you? What did I do? Why haven't you told Gwen that you're canceling the wedding? Look, it's a bad idea, Grace. I mean, a really bad idea. Look, Ivy just wants you and Ethan Look, to be friends. Look, I don't care what Ivy wants. We're not going. I, I, I can't believe that you agreed to this, knowing how, I, how we all feel about the cranes. Look, I know how you feel, but I don't feel the same way. I mean, Ivy's been nothing but a friend to me. I, and she's done all kinds of business in the shop, and so have her friends. And Sam, you are chief of police, and Ethan Crane is on the police board. It can only help out your situation if you two could just get along. Had a girl, Grace, you convinced Sam. Well, I don't know why I have to go to this party. The Cranes has never done anything to make my life easier. Uh, but they have, TC. They have donated all kinds of athletic equipment to the high school. They gave a whole bus to the football team. Yeah, and Grace, even, but... you know, it wouldn't hurt you at all, either. The Cranes donated an entire pediatric wing to the hospital. Now it's going to take millions more to upgrade all the medical technology. I mean, think what that will do for your patients. I mean, it just makes sense for all of us, for our financial futures, if we could just get along with the Cranes. Grace, you... You sound so businesslike. Well... I think I have to be. I mean, Sam, we are going to have four kids in college soon. You guys are going to have two girls in college. You know, we just need to be practical, not for ourselves and for our children. And besides, I've kind of always wanted to see the inside of the hutch kiss. Oh, oh, so the real reason comes out. <laughs> All right, so you caught me. Please, can we go? Oh, say yes, Sam. Please, please, please say yes. For Ethan, for our son. Sorry, Tracy, did you say something? Um, I, I did. I said, um, you look kind of down. Did, did something happen? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. There's no sense bringing you down to... I know how happy you are with this boy you're so madly in love with. Yes. I am, Luis. I I've never been happier. He's the most wonderful man in the world, and he loves me so much. I'm, I'm glad you're so happy. That's, that's all I ever wanted for you. I know. And I want you to be happy, too. Find the same kind of love I have. Yeah. One day. How are things with Sherry? They aren't. But I thought the two of you were getting close. Yeah, I thought so, too. What I happened? was wrong. She thought she heard me say something, and uh, I can't get past it. Have you tried to talk to her? I tried. It, it's, it's over. 
and see that you're hurting. No, it, whatever. It's my own damn fault. I should have never got mixed up with a crane. Except for Sheridan. You, Alistair, Julian, and Ethan. They're arrogant, they're spiteful, they're dangerous. I hate them all. Why have you put this off? Why haven't you told Gwen you're canceling the wedding? Well, look, if you give me a chance to explain. I'm sorry. It's just that Gwen stopped by here earlier and she was so excited about the wedding. Well, you didn't tell her, did you? No, but I almost slipped. I didn't know you hadn't told her yet. Well, look, believe me, Sheridan, I've been trying to tell her, but we keep getting interrupted. You know, first her father got sick, and then her sorority sister showed up. Oh, no. What? You don't think she's suspecting that she's avoiding me, do you? Oh, no. She's clearly head over heels in love with you. Can't wait to be Mrs. Ethan Crane. <sighs> Poor Gwen. I'm... This is gonna... I don't want to hurt her. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe you really don't want to call off the wedding? I mean, that you've been coming up with all these excuses to not tell Gwen that you're in love with Teresa? Maybe you're really not as in love with Teresa as you think. Could that be the reason, Ethan? Oh, I'm going to be Mrs. Ethan Crane. <laughs> oh, Gwen, I have been looking all over for you. Oh, Mother, what's wrong now? Please don't tell me the caterers messed up the wedding cake. It's worse. Look, look, maybe you better sit down. I have something really terrible to tell you. It's about Teresa and Ethan. I really don't want to go, Grace. Sam. But I will. For you. And only you. Thank you. TC? Grace. You know, I heard that the soccer team needs all kinds of new equipment. And then you're having that fundraiser, right, for the new gym? I mean, just for the kids. All right, for the kids. But listen, guys, we're not staying long. Yeah, neither are we. And Julian better keep his distance. Now, you know, I'm sure he will be plenty busy with the party and the wedding. All right. Thank you, guys. If we help me pick something now, you have such great taste. I'm sure I will, Grace. Okay. Damn you, Ivy. You're playing with fire. I just hope we don't all get burned. What are you doing? Oh. Julian. Spying on the locals? Why? Oh, don't tell me. You're hoping to steal Grace's recipe for tomato soup cake. <laughs> no, actually. I've just invited Grace and Sam and TC and Eve to the party tonight. You what? Why? Because they're my friends. <sighs> And I want Ethan and Sam to get along. Now that Ethan's on the police board, he'll need Sam's support. Ethan is a crane. Sam Bennett will do what Ethan says. Sam has the support of the locals. Ethan will need their votes when he begins his political career. Oh, yes, I see. Always thinking about your precious Ethan, aren't you, dear? Yes, his future is my number one priority. As it is mine. He's my son, too. I'll be wearing armor. Let's just hope no one mentions tennis anyone to TC. You're wrong, Sheridan. I love Teresa, and I'm going to call off the wedding. Well, then do it. Tell Gwen. Stop dragging your feet. All right, I'll call her right now. No, no, you, you can't do it on the phone. You're right. What am I thinking? You know, this is just so hard. Besides Gwen, I'm also concerned about Teresa. She said she was going to tell Luis about us again t tonight. Oh, great. But Luis was just saying how he blames you for keeping us apart. Why? Well, you haven't exactly been his biggest fan. Well, you told me you overheard him say he was using you. I mean, what do you expect? Or has he talked you out of believing that, too? No. I wanted to. I begged Luis to admit that he said those things and that I'd forgive him. He wouldn't. He, he said that he never said those things and he wouldn't lie. Sheridan, you heard him and saw him. I know.
So it's over between you two? Yes. I guess it was doomed from the start, though. He hates our family so much. Even you now? No. But he made it pretty clear about his hatred for you, Julian, and Alistair. When he finds out about you and Teresa... I'm not worried. Well, you should be. You're lighting a fuse that will set off bombs all over Harmony. No one's life will ever be the same. I am sure you can work things out with Sheridan. No, Teresa. You said she overheard you, you say something. What? She claims she heard me say I was using her. Now she thinks I'm interested in her for her money. Well, that's ridiculous, Louise. I mean, you're not anything like that. Well, I tried telling her that. And I almost convinced her. Someone got to her. Made her believe that she couldn't trust me. It, it, it must be Mr. Crane. I mean, he would never want you involved with his sister. Yeah, he's got something to do with it. But there's someone else. Someone shared and trust more than Julian. It's that bastard Ethan. No. no, not Ethan. It can't be. He's not like that. How do you know? Why are you defending Ethan? What's he mean to you? Gwen, I don't know how to tell you No, this. wait, Mother. I know exactly what you're going to say. I know you don't. And I don't want to hear any more of your irrational, paranoid fears about Ethan and Teresa. But no, no, Mother. Teresa has been a really good friend to me, and Ethan has declared his love over and over again. Gwen, listen to Mother, me. Mother, I have a party tonight and the biggest day of my life tomorrow. Please stop bothering me with these fears. But Mother, whatever it is, take care of it yourself. All right, darling daughter. I will. <laughs> I'll take care of that little bitch. I <sighs> know I have worked far too hard for my daughter to become Mrs. Ethan Crane. This wedding is going to go on as planned. I don't care what I have to do. 